Well, uh, thank you, everybody. Um, my name is Camilo Martinez. I'm a software developer. I own a, a small company, um, and I help you know businesses around the city. My talk is about real native apps with native screen view. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I have this joke when, I, when I'm in my church, and I always say that if you don't understand my, my English, just let me know. I can always speak in Spanish, and it will be a lot easier. Uh, you, can, you can follow me on uh, X. Uh, my um, handle is cmart7. So why native script? Native script provides, uh, is a platform that provides APIs directly on top of the JavaScript runtime. And, and, and the, the best thing that I can explain it is like, because it's, so, it's built on top of uh, TypeScript, it's very rich for your development experience. The best thing is that you don't have to learn anything else. Is, uh, you just need to use your JavaScript tools. And above all, the other thing that I love is like, it's part of the OpenJS foundation. So um, it makes me, feel safe that I know they're going to be for a, for a while. Uh, another thing that I like is that uh, you can amend your JavaScript projects uh, with the API uh, capabilities. And the best thing is that all your views are native. How is that this happen? So NativeScript build what I will call the bridge. So at build time, there is a metadata generator that walks you through the available APIs and it packs them into your metadata file. So if you see this graphic, you have your regular application and in the, in the bottom where you see native script runtimes, you have your uh, Android runtime and your iOS runtime. So at build time, there is a conversion that is happening between your JavaScript and your specific uh, native runtime. What this does is like every single call are matched against the metadata and they're, they're converted into an FFI call. This happens through something called marshalling. And what it does is like, it, is the idea is that it's the conversion between JavaScript data types and the native platform language, whether it is uh, Swift, uh, Objective-C, Kotlin, or Java. So native script view is the plugin for, for, for native script for Vue.js. And, and the thing that I love is like, we're able to you know, build your own uh, mobile application with the things that you know. So you, if you know how to build Vue.js apps, you're gonna feel right at home. There's a, a couple of small changes. So this is like one that I have in here, instead of doing app that run, you do app that start. Plugins. So from Vue, uh, there is support for the Vue Dev tools. They are fully compatible. Um, Pinia is fully compatible. HMR built into it. And then uh, the, the community have built different like use tools for it. So you're able to have dark mode, event listeners, the storage workers, and everything else. So I'm going to try my best to give you a, a, a code explanation. So wish me luck. So all this changed, but let's fix it. So I build in here like a, a very simple um, explanation of how uh, it works. So in this example, you're able to see just your regular uh, Hello World application. This is built purely in iOS, and this one right here is purely built in, in Android. So as you can see here, this is a, an a iPhone app. Um, is built uh, directly with uh, iOS, and then we have our Android app. So I, I built them before, and then I have in here, as you can see, the screens. So we're able to see the, the different um, console logs for each one of them. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm just going to add an extra label for, for, a, for a last name. So I'm going to let Copilot help me here a little bit. Not that anybody of you use it, but. Okay. So what what you will get in here is just the 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 same functionality that you will get when you're building your your regular uh, Vue.js app. So see if 
Everything works, yeah. It looks like it didn't broke anything. So there it is. I have an undefined because my name is not here. So all right. So as you save the project, it re reloads the, the, the screen for you. So you're able to see the changes as they are happening. So there it is. And there, there is my name. You have all the capabilities that you can uh, have with switches. So as I was saying, like all these are native components of each one of the different um, uh, systems. You can see it here in Android working. So just gonna put anything just so you guys can see it. Um, what else I have in here? So I added um, a model just to show. There you have your model. You can also use um, Pinia text. And of course, it's not working now, but it works in Android. I don't know, maybe it got disconnected. And what else do I have in here? So I have um, the, the best part that I love is really like how fast it could be for rendering different views. So in this car, I have a, a ton of cars that are just working natively with no issues. And then you can also add, um, for example, I have this icon in here. You want to add a little icon. And then it should reload. And if not, then I tried too much and it didn't work. Maybe <laughs> put something in here. Sorry. All right. Well, really, I hope that like, this is kind of like a, an overview uh, of like what Native Script offers. I, I want to say special things definitely to the community. Uh, there is a ton of people that are, have worked in this really hard. Is it still in Miro? No. All right. And uh, I have some references. My wife is a teacher and she hates if you mention something from someone and you don't give them credit. So uh, to all the people, uh, we are planning. Is it still is showing my screen? No. Let me show this one. The, the view re just uh, release for the version 3 will be this, uh, this summer in June. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm sorry. I hope like everything makes sense. I was trying my best. Yeah, there it is. So the documentation is there. Um, there is a ton of information on the regular uh, information for native script. They have a ton of plugins that already uh, were created. Uh, the UI components are very simple. So all that you have to do is just go and see what is the component for the different uh, implementations and then you can use it. So thank you very much. and. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy New Orleans. My last thing is if you have time, uh, I recommend you go and eat um, alligator hot dog. Uh, you will not regret it. Thank you.